Did you know that Intel's premier CPU, the i9-13900K, is only slightly faster than their budget-friendly CPU, the i5-13600K? So depending on your workload, you could save a few hundred dollars on your next PC build. So in this video, we're gonna find out which one is right for you. I'd like to thank Intel for sponsoring this video and sending over not one, but three of their most popular Intel 13th gen CPUs for us to test out here in the studio to find out exactly which one is right for you. As mentioned in the opening of this video, Intel pumped some solid performance up upgrades into each of their CPU SKUs this year. When it comes to the performance needs of your personal workflow, I want you to consider one major theme in your day-to-day -day operations how much multitasking are you going to be conducting? Now, if you want to build your own PC with the latest 13th gen Intel CPU, then there are numerous sites with stock available. However, if you want to customize every bit of your PC like you built it yourself, but you don't want to go through the fuss of figuring out just how to assemble it, then definitely check out CLX Gaming. They put together a PC system for me, and I have to tell you, it's not your average pre-built. Each part in the system is from a notable brand, so if any issues were to pop up, I have access to professional customers service. This system performed well under the pressure of my daily workload. On any day, I'm running a ton of peripherals and a ton of programs all simultaneously. At any one time, I'm exporting a video out of Premiere Pro, recording my next video via capture card into the vMix streaming software, reviewing data in Google Chrome, chatting in Slack, having my music ready to jam in Spotify, and I probably left a Photoshop file open to begin work on my next thumbnail image. So there is a lot of multitasking going on in my studio every single day. And all of those processes take a heavy toll on my system if I don't have really strong multitasking capabilities. Using the i7-13700K, I had no issues with the workflow in my studio. If you're not a savage multitasker, then the i5-13600K is every bit as powerful as you will need. Now the multi-core capabilities increase dramatically from the i5-13600K all the way up to the i9-13900K. We find this proof in the Geekbench multi-core benchmark, where you can see we jump from 13,446 on the multi-core score of the i5, all the way up to 17,786 for the i9. It's even more dramatic in Cinebench R23, when you can see we jump from 22,000 up to 37,000 in the multi-core capabilities from the i5 to the i9. Now from a technical standpoint, this all makes sense. And reviewing the specs from the i5 all the way up to the i9, you you can see that the number of cores and threads increases very quickly. However, when looking at the frequency of the processor, you can see that it remains similar in each CPU, only moving up a little bit from the i5 to the i9. Looking at the single core results for both Cinebench R23 and Geekbench, we can see barely more than 100 points increase in performance between each CPU SKU. For the consumer, this is exactly what we needed to make the right purchase decision. No longer do we have to guess the performance we will receive inside of an individual application. It is going to be very similar across CPU SKUs. Where we need to make our decision is almost entirely based on the number of applications and processes we are going to be executing at a singular moment. So basically what this means is if you're a hardcore single app user and you don't use a bunch of applications at the same time, then the i5 will perform very similar to the i9. It's only when you get into heavy multitasking will you see the benefit of the i9 processor. And for somebody like me, the i9 is very beneficial for how much multitasking I'm doing at a singular moment. To further prove this hypothesis, you can see that Blender, Photoshop, and After Effects increase only slightly from the i5 to the i9 in regards to the points that they score. So if you don't need beast multitasking performance, then Intel has developed a wonderful budget-friendly option for you that gets nearly the same single app performance as their top-tier i9 CPU. As I mentioned in the Intel Arc A770 video, while other brands are jacking up prices and creating confusing product lineups that could ultimately be leading consumers to pay more than they actually need, Intel is making an easier to follow CPU lineup with their latest 13th gen desktop CPUs. Now the next thing we're going to look at is video editing and we are seeing really great performance out of all the CPUs. These results are on par with the fastest the industry has to currently offer and even a little bit faster than I have seen on my channel before. Specifically looking at Premiere Pro 6k export time, 12 minutes and 42 seconds is the fastest export I have ever seen for 6k b-raw on my channel. Now looking at 4k 6k b-raw and 6k red footage playback, you can see that if you go with the i5, you're only going to drop about 30 to 50 frames using the i5 processor. So you do see a little diminished performance if you're going to be in 6K video editing. But honestly, you're not going to notice those 30 to 50 drop frames. So the i5 matched with the Intel Arc A770 GPU will be plenty of performance for 6K video editing. 
Now looking at the difference in the performance between the i5 and the i9 for the 4K video editing export, there is a little bit of an advantage from choosing the i9. But we did see that in the specs between the i5 and the i9. There's a little bit more than half a point frequency difference between those two processors. So keep in mind, though I'm saying it's very close, it still is a difference. For DaVinci Resolve users, all the 4K export times come in at just under five minutes, which is great to see. So improving performance in DaVinci Resolve, Intel's been making some great steps forward, not only with their latest Arc A770 GPUs, but also the latest 13th gen CPUs. If you're looking to jump into a 13th gen system, whether the i5 or all the way up to the i9, then definitely consider using CLX Gaming as your go-to to create a custom pre-built system for you. And if you're interested about the latest Intel Arc A770 GPU, then definitely click or tap the screen here as I've done a full review video. I'll see you guys in the next one.